Welcome back. MAD, which stands for Mothers Against Drunk Driving, is a nonprofit organization that works to end drunk driving and support the victims of these violent crimes. I spoke with the lead victim services specialist, Dolly Otero, to find out more about this organization and the services they provide. Dolly Otero is joining us this morning. She is the lead victim spe services specialist with Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Dolly, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Definitely. Right now, there's such an important message that uh, that always comes with uh, with MAD. Let's talk about some of the services, though, that are provided to victims. Well, you know, first of all, uh, MAD is an organization. We're a nonprofit. Uh, we work uh, in drunk driving, uh, prevent uh, drug driving, and help with underage drinking. Now, in providing those services, obviously, uh, there's had to been some adaptations now made because of the pandemic uh, for reaching out to victims. How has that changed things so far? You know, uh, initially, it just took a lot of phone calls, um, teaching people technology from the other side is is pretty difficult, you know, having Zoom calls and, and uh, just the way our court system work now. You know, we have to call in or it's a Google Meet. It, it, it's all about all the programs that we have. Yeah. And with those virtual support groups right now, um, how are you able to, to reach out to the victims? Yeah, through we do do um, a monthly uh, support group and it is Zoom. Uh, we make sure that it's confidential and that we're comfortable in that setting. Um, and of course they could make the phone call and not even worry about, you know, having their face on Zoom. Mm -hmm. And again, uh, uh, the goal of, of MAD I'm reading here is, you know, ensuring that, as you said, anyone impacted by impaired driving knows about the services that they can receive. Um, how is it as far as, as, as educating the victims on some of the legal process? Right. You know, we're, we're so fortunate that we get to walk hand in hand with them. So as each procedure comes up, you know, we let them know, we explain what's happening. Um, so it's really walking side by side, uh, again, letting families know, okay, what the, what the next step is, uh, how they could get involved. Um, so many times families have never even been in the courtroom. And with Zoom or Google Meets, you know, it's about making that phone call. You know, we educate them on what they can and cannot do. Um, you know, it's just like going to court, only you're going to be on, uh, on, the, on the meeting. Yeah. For anybody that uh, does need to utilize the services of MAD, how can they reach out to you guys? Well, we have a, a Facebook page that they could go on to. Uh, they also make that, you know, so many times um, the, the family and the community will call us before the actual family. And, you know, families are very fragile at the beginning. So we really do try and wait on them to call us. Um, and that's probably the best way. They could always reach out to us, you know, via our emails or, uh, again, our Facebook Live. There you go. Dolly Otero with MAD, thank you for joining us and bringing us all this important information this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you so much.